Friends, thank you for taking the time to watch this. I know this is a bit impersonal, but it's the best way to reach all of you. God has new things in store for me, and that also means new musical leadership here at St. Francis Cathedral and the Diocese of Metuchen. When this pandemic quieted things down, I listened more carefully to the whisperings of God. I tried not to talk, which as many of you joke, is not always easy for me, but instead to listen. An opportunity had presented itself to me for the second time in four years. And this time I felt God guiding me to accept it. The same way I felt God leading me to the cathedral many years ago. With no shortage of anxiety, but nonetheless trust in our Lord, I have informed Father Christie, our new rector, that effective September 1st, I will be stepping aside as director of music to continue ministry in the church in Southwest Florida. Please know that Father Christie and I are friends, and one of my questions when I pass through the pearly gates is to ask God why he placed this new opportunity before me. At the exact moment, a dream collaboration with this wonderful priest was to commence. I met Father Christie in the late 1980s when I directed the music for his first mass as a priest. I respect him greatly, and I know he will serve the cathedral parish well. He's already listening to the parishioners and the whisperings of God so he can guide the parish forward after a pandemic that had shut down so much of what was normal, including all of our parish choirs. This beautiful pipe organ, the primary musical instrument of the diocese, is where I have always felt my gifts were most effective. This past, celebrate, this past February, I celebrated 20 years as director of music for St. Francis Cathedral in the Diocese of Metuchen, more than half the time Metuchen has even been a diocese. I play organ for approximately 400 masses each year or around 8,000 since I arrived in this choir loft. But my history in the diocese goes back to 1987 when I began my first full-time position at Our Lady of Lords Church White House Station. But even further to 1983 as a part-time musician at St. Joseph Church Raritan and then Guardian Angels Church Edison. At Our Lady of Lords, I met my future wife Christine and I look forward to celebrating our 30th anniversary this September. Our four children, Adam, Mary, Emily, and Catherine, grew up in that parish, and we became a two-parish family when Catherine was 11 months old, and I came to the cathedral. She will graduate college this coming year. It's been an honor to conduct music for the installations of Bishop Budkowski in Czechia the funerals of Bishops Breen and Hughes, and to serve the cathedral with Monsignors Beale, Allegro, Zamorski, and now Father Christie, to conduct music at various diocesan pilgrimages to the Basilica in Washington, D.C., and even a few European pilgrimages. These bishops and rectors are all great men whose lives have been dedicated to serving our Lord in love and humility. Monsignor Zamorski has treated me with the greatest level of respect, always referring to me, as you know, as maestro. I know we all wish him well in retirement. Cathedral Choir is a faith-filled community of servants of our Lord, just an amazing group of people and fine musicians. Our music making has always been a highlight of my week, every Wednesday rehearsal and Sunday Mass. The various choirs for kindergarten through high school and handbell choirs, they've been an absolute joy to work with. These children need the support of the parishioners. They make a beautiful noise unto the Lord. The most important choir is that of the congregation. The faith of the community is shown to be alive when all members of the assembly are together in song. Are you participating in sung worship as God asks of you? I've had an incredible journey here at St. Francis. I will miss the parish, the wonderful choirs, my friends and my amazing colleagues and musicians throughout the diocese terribly. But I trust in the Lord. 
The liturgy puts these words from Psalm, Psalm 89 before us. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. And that's just what I intend to do. So I end this video with an organ piece that my good friend, the highly respected pastoral musician and composer Tim Keyes, recently wrote. I'm humbled that he dedicated it to me, Adagio. It's part of this, the piece, Toccata, Adagio, and Fugue. And I share it now with you. Thank you again for listening, and God bless you.